How's it guys? Welcome to Budapest. Check this out, it is snowing outside. It is it's cold. I'm glad it started snowing because yesterday it was freezing. And when it's just cold and there's no snow, then what's the point? This morning we are checking out of our lovely room. Oh, you can see me there. How's it? Anyway, we've got to say goodbye to this beautiful, beautiful room. I say room, it's actually a suite at Corinthia in Budapest. If you guys haven't seen my last two vlogs, then you wouldn't have seen it yet, but this is just the bedroom bit, and then there's the walk-in closet with what we've dubbed the ladies' bathroom. I don't think I showed you guys this on the first day. And then this is the little entrance bit, and then what we dubbed the gentleman's bathroom. As you can see, it's my toilet bag. This room is unreal. All good things come to an end, or something like that. Is that what they say? That's what they say. Is that what they say? As I mentioned on the first day in Prague, this was part of a complimentary stay. The quality of service here is so, so good. They are doing hotels right. They, they've won the hotel game, really. Like, I don't know if you get better than this. Do you? Probably not. Oh, pigeons. Hey guys, what are you doing? Oh, they all just parked right up there. They just, they were just doing loops around here. And now they're just like, uh, what was the point of that? Oi. Bird. Breakfast is at the Brasserie and Atrium, which is where we came for dinner. As you guys can see, yeah, there's a little bit of a buffet vibe going on. Oh, yeah, I'll take one of those. I'm starting off with a sour cherry yogurt pot. Pretty standard. This stuff here is apparently a traditional paprika ratatouille relish, they said. Breakfast was amazing. Um, I've got my camera now and I'm just going to go on a little tour of the hotel um, with the lady that helped us organize. Ah, there we go. Darina, hi. Darina is showing me the presidential suite. This is Hungary's biggest presidential suite. Oh uh, my word. This is a conference room. What do you mean? If that... Oh my word. <laughs> This is massive. This, this is the dining room or the boardroom and this way you will oh, find it's a little office, office desk. And two bedrooms with two bathrooms on the two sides of the suite. Oh jeez. Definitely fit for a president. It has come to the time where we say goodbye <laughs> <laughs> to this beautiful room, this beautiful suite. I just want to get some more photos downstairs. They've got this uh, beautiful cascading staircase as you walk in. So we're going to try to get some photos there. I will insert those here if they're any good. I'm gonna drive this sulky one to Ljubljana next. Vladimir, nice to see you. And we are off. We've got a beautifully snowy day. Look at that, coming down. Ah, oh, so gentle and peaceful. Let's see what music we've got saved. Best in Europe, best in Europe. <laughs> Ljubljana. Oh, it's gonna take us five hours. Oh, we are sat in some sort of traffic for whatever reason. But look at the snow on this car. <laughs> oh, that one's got it too. And that one. And that one. And that one. Not that one. Check how beautiful it all is here. Bridge. You, you're a maniac, bro. Yeah, saw that happening though. So we all good. Don't film while driving, everyone. So it is minus eight degrees. It is very snowy, like piles and piles of snow. We just stopped for a pre-break. Wow, it is, it is cold, man. Okay, we are heading into... Slovenia. Oh, there's the sign, there's the sign. Slovenia. Slovenia. Is it Slovenia or Slovenia? Any Slovenians or Slovenians? Let us know how to say it, because we don't actually know, really. I mean, I'm just disappointed that the country next to Hungary wasn't thirsty. <laughs> oh no. Look at this crisp, oh, crispy, crispy snow. All right, Vlad, you're gonna be all right. Check in a bit, Brie. The toilet's over there. All right, it's our second pee break. We've got probably two hours, hour 45. Depends if we're going slow, Slovenia, fast venue, whichever one you choose. <laughs> We're just popping in here for a snack. There's a marché, marché bistro. There we go, I've gone for a little goulash. So I went for sausage, peppers and rice. All right, just relax. Horny cow. 
Because <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna haunt him. Here we go. Ljubljana. We are on our way. We have arrived at our Airbnb for the evening. I think it's a little bigger than we needed, but uh, you know. This is an old tobacco factory apparently and uh, and we've got one of these little places that'll be under here somewhere. Vlad, you just wait here. We'll come and get the bags out of you in a bit, okay? This is our Airbnb, checked in. As I said, underneath an old tobacco factory, which is why you've got these arches and everything. It's a set of four apartments. Really nice guy that checked us in. We're gonna go get our luggage and then just chill out for a bit. Had a full day of driving, so he gave us, he showed us on the map here. Showed us a bunch of cool places to visit, so we'll see, we'll probably pop out later. It is chilly, we are going out for dinner. The, uh, hold on, Airbnb host recommended a nice little Slovenian restaurant for us. He said that it, uh, Google would say it was closed, but it's not, which means it's the best kind of restaurant. So, check you there in a bit. This is the place that he recommended, Slovenian house, Figovec. We literally, we parked just down the road and had like a, not even a two minute walk and my eyes are watering. And my hand is frozen. I've decided amongst the many things on the menu, I'm gonna go for the baked fresh sausage accompanied by zgansi and sauerkraut. Zgansi is uh, buckwheat mash. Also, check this out. We are getting these, I don't know, any Slovenians might know this, but I've never heard of this, but it sounds so good. A king among potatoes with more recipes for it than this is supposed to be there are Slovenians. A hymn has been written for the dish and there is a support group striving to proclaim it as a separate one course meal. So. That sounds like it should be good. Wow, okay, so here is my sausage. This is the side of potato mash and onion dish, and oh, this looks good. And Sav went for, this is a mix of different cultures, but it's basically a penne with a creamy mushroom um, sauce, and all these things here, not cinnamon or tree bark, truffles. Truffles, yes. Smells so good. It's a good sausage. Definitely recommend this restaurant. Slovenia House Figovec. So we went for a cheeky dessert. Uh, what did we get? Slovenian cream cake. Slovenian cream cake in a cup. This place was great. We were just about to pop out. But look at this wall. So cool, all the books. Actually, I want to take a quick photo and close that door. <laughs> it's so cold out. But this wall is awesome. There's another. They've got these. They've got these little couch cushions on top of uh, the radiators, and they all have this really cool. What is this? Is this crochet? What's the thing? Hatch cross hatching, cross stitch, cross stitch. That's it. I don't know. Maybe. But they're all also really beautiful. So they've nailed the decor on this. This does look a little bit like a penis at first sight though. People in this apartment are a bit noisy, it's kind of rude. So that's our place by the way. Co Coca's, Kaka's studio. <laughs> anyway, they've got this little thing. Shit, what did Sav want? I swear all these things were in English two seconds ago. 50 cents. Oh, there it goes. Sam wanted a hot chocolate. You done? Thank you. That's hot. Got my little edit going on, and <sighs> so I was trying to figure out how to turn off these lights. So I figured I would get up and use them while they're still on. That was not actually part of the plan, but I'm gonna do it now anyway. And I'm gonna sign out here and now. Tomorrow, we're getting up relatively early. We're going for a little brekkie nearby, and then we're going to Lake Bled. But on the way, we are going to a fun little place called the Pajama Castle which in fact has nothing to do with pajamas. Also, it's not actually called that, it's called the Prejama Castle. I won't tell you anything about it other than the fact that it is in a cave. Spoiler alert much. I'm, okay, I'm gonna figure out how to turn off these lights, but I will see you guys in the morning. Thanks for watching. If you are new here, don't forget to click um, comment, uh, like the subscribe button and, and bell on your notifications. I will check you guys in the morning.